Nung araw kasi, hindi pang masyado ng high-tech nun eh. Manual ng operations, hindi mo na monitor. Ano ang naging impact nito sa negosyo mo naman once you started using the digital tools? Ngayon, meron na rin kasi kami, which is chat genie ang tawag. Yes. Meron na siyang talagang automatic na nandun na yung catalog. Nandun na din yung kung paano sila magbabayad, kung paano din magbubok. We have our uh, e-commerce site na, uh, which is from uh, Prosperna. It's also actually another digital tool from Globe. The website really makes it, ano, makes your branding credible. So, nandun yung mukha ko, andun yung story ng kung paano. Because of the website, we were able to tap the global market. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang heart-to-heart -heart conversation natin. Kasama siyempre ang founder and owner ng Sewn Sandals, Maria Veluz, at your service. And Mariel, dahil lumalawak na ang customer reach nyo dahil sa iba't ibang digital tools. So I have a question. Paano mo naman i-complement both online and offline yung shopping experience naman ng mga shoppers mo? Ito yung mga loyalist mo at yung mga taong naniniwala sa produkto mo. We just really need to be proactive in giving them your customers information. Alam na alam na namin yung mga shoe sizes. Lalo na ako. Actually, fit ko siya. Kahit na size 8 ako, fit ko yung size 5, 6. And we also describe how it fits and if they need to size up. Aside from the online, so our offline, of course, our boomers, gusto pa rin nila yan, nakikita nila yung product talaga. Right now, talagang we're working on how we can integrate online and offline because we really want to put out and tell the people what our purpose is. Now, Mariel, as we look back sa pinagdaanan ng Sewn Sandals, from one business owner to another, ito ang tanong sa'yo, was it a walk in the park or was it a walk in Jurassic Park? Well, I have to be honest, um, especially yung pandemic, it's not really a walk in the park. Marami tayo at alam natin yan, dinaanan natin yung anxiety. Uh, actually, sir, 15 years na yung business ko. Naisip ko na rin, mag-close shop na ba ako? Pero maraming natutuwa dun sa produkto and marami kayo nai-inspire. Aside from the artisans, you give them work. Aside from MSMEs like me na magtuloy lang talaga sa business. Aside from speaking here, giving a chance by low business to speak here and to inspire entrepreneurs to still go on despite the challenges. Pero marami pong dasal yan. Yan po talaga. Well, that, that uh, simply will inspire somebody watching out there, encouraging somebody out there na it can be done. Gaano pa ka halaga to find the right partner na nakakaintindi at uh, partner mo talaga na nag-navigate dito sa mga unpredictable business landscape. How crucial is it to find the right partner? Actually, sir, for, since we're a small business, we can be like a jack of all trades. Like, pwede akong ako na magpo-photography. Pwede na akong ako yung gagawa ng website. Pwede. Pero hindi, sir. Eh, kasi we need the right partner and the right people who have the knowledge about it, especially technology. And that's where Globe Business comes in. And I'm really happy that Globe Business does this. Talagang malaking impact on me. Um, being here to feel empowered and then also joining women business groups. You together with many na talagang nag guest na rin dito, napapansin ko talaga, iba na yung heart eh. It's not just making money for myself. It's all about reaching out to others. At ako naman ay talagang nagpapasalamat we have uh, at your service in Globe Business na talagang yun yung target eh, to be able to inspire, encourage, and help out our MSMEs. Eh. So nung uh, in-invite ka ng Globe Business sa isang event, what was your experiential process when you were invited? It was in uh, last June in Mega Mall. There was a retail revolution event and Globe Business was able to invite me after noon, yung feeling namin ng husband ko, muwi kami, masaya. I'm sure hindi lang po ako ang nakakaramdam ng ganito. A globe business talaga, it really empowers us, especially MSMEs. And meron naman talaga pong makakapartner. Hindi naman po natin kailangan na gawin na natin ng tayo lang. And now that your partnership is bearing fruit, no? Kitang-kita mo yung transition, transformation, even in your character and your the way your perspective and mindset has been built, how does teaming up with Globe magiging formation and shaping of business for your future plans for Sound Santos? 
because I'm inspired nga and empowered. So, naisip ko, other than joining bazaars, we're building a store now. It's a physical store. So, this is in Alabang Town Center because we're from the South. We also want to incorporate digital. Yung experience ko having a very efficient website through Globe Business and also, gusto ko sir mag-live selling sa mall. So, maisip nyo yun, di ba? Parang may nagla-live selling sa mall. Ang daming foot traffic nun. So, parang gusto ko talaga i-combine yung physical and digital. But these are just small shops where you can have a showroom lang. People really want to see and feel talaga na ngayon. So, but still complementing your online shop. So, yeah, so we're opening that and we're, we're opening it to other MSMEs like me. Ngayon naman, oras na para sa ating negosyant tips. Kaya sa mga negosyantito at negosyantita natin, i-ready na ang inyong mga tanong. And here's the founder and owner of Sound Sandals, Mariel Veluz, at your service. Hello again, Sir Francis and Miss Mariel. Siyempre, nakakatuwa din o nakaka-excite ang mga what's ahead for Zone Sandals. Pero ngayon, mag-entertain muna tayo ng mga tanong from our negosyantita at negosyantito. Mag-start tayo dito sa ating live audience. We have a negosyantita over here. Lapit ka muna, ma'am. Ayan. Ano pong pangalan nyo at ano inyong hi. tanong? Um, hi, I'm Daphne. So, ang tanong ko po is for Miss Marielle and syempre for Sir Francis. Ganito po kasi yung situation ko. Uh, sa online marketplace po, marami po akong na-encounter ng mga potential customers na nag inquire sila, is this available? Tapos kapag magsasagot ako, automatic naman eh, yes, it's available. Tapos after nun, hindi na sila sumasagot. So, parang sin <laughs> zone lang ako. Ano po bang tips uh, na pwede niyong maibigay sa akin para ma-convert ko sila into paying customers. Mag-send ka ng photo para mapakita nila na, wow, ang ganda pala talaga, di ba? Or worn photo, ganyan. Clothing, kung clothing, di ba? Or kung kunyari, katulad ko, shoes. And also, build an emotional rapport na parang, where will you wear them? May I suggest ganyan, ganyan. Dahil na nabanggit mo tungkol sa emotional connection, you and I will have to realize na talagang may mga taong gano'n. nag inquire pagkatapos nag-ghost, nawawala na bigla. Yung iba siguro, sinusubukan nila, talagang may may tao ba rito sumasagot sa akin, no? Hindi. But do not be discouraged kasi one of these days, babalik yon. And so, next time siguro, uh, that person will be converted into a uh, active customer. So, don't let that bother you kasi it's part of the entire process naman talaga. Yan. Thank you so much, Daphne. We have one more here sa live audience. Ay, ay kayo po dito, ma'am. Ayan. Ano pong pangalan nyo and ano ang tanong ninyo? Hello po. Good afternoon po. Ako po si Yani. Hello po, Sir Francis and Miss Marielle. Ayan po. Yung question ko po, kasi meron po akong physical store, pero tumatanggap din po ako ng orders sa mga social media platforms. However po, sa dami po ng mga um, orders and minsan po, hindi po na... Uh, hindi ko po na babantayan yung inventory. So, medyo nagkaka-issue po ako sa fulfillment. Ayun po. So, baka meron po kayong tips po para maiwasan ko po yun. Well, yun na nga. Kailangan po ng inventory management solution. Pero kung wala ka pa nun, siguro what you can do, in my own experience, ang ginagawa ko, sir, tinatabi ko na siya, hindi ko na siya isasama, or mamarkan ko na, tapos ito, nakahiwalay na. Wala nang gagalaw nun. Pero it really helps to have an inventory solution. I will uh, add to that, you will have to first ask yourself this question, bakit ba ako nakakaroon ng inventory problem? Baka naman hanggang ngayon, manumano ko pa rin. And so secondly, tatlong bagay po talagang hinahanap ng customers ngayon na hindi magbabago kahit anong panahon. Number one, ang expectation ng isang customer, yung isang produkto o serbisyo na mayroong acceptable quality. Number two, hinahanap po ng mga customer is a product or a service that is there when needed. No, napakaganda nga naman ng website mo, napakaganda naman ng packaging mo, pero kung kailang o-order na siya, lagi ka namang wala. And number three, dito, dito ko magtataka. Isa sa mga pinakamalaging factors na hinahanap ng mga customer, whether you are having a physical store or online, ay empathy. 
Ang ibig sabihin po ng empathy, sumasagot eh. O itong negosyante na to ay uh, may compassion, may care dito sa akin pangangailangan. So, either way, it's very important. But check your inventory. Thank you so much, Miss Yanni. Thank you so much. Nako, ituloy po natin. May mga tanong actually pumasok from our online audience. So, itong si Negosyantitong Mark, ang tanong niya, pinag-iisipan ko pa po kasi kung magsiset up ako ng website para sa small business ko. Pero gusto ko lang din pong malaman, ganun po ba ka-worth it kapag nagkaroon ako ng website? Definitely, sure. Yun na nga po yung pinag-uusapan natin. Eh. Pag nakita nila yung website, nandiyan yung purpose mo, talaga susuportahan ka nila. Kita mo may practice yung mga ibang negosyo na flyering, yung iba naman nagbibigay ng brochure, that web page now is an electronic brochure and it's not just a brochure. It opens a platform where there is active communication. So, kung ang tanong mo ay, is it worth it ba na makaroon ng web page? Ang sagot ko, it is not worth it na wala kang web page. So, your business will not go anywhere. Ayun, so negosyantitong Mark, alam mo na ang gagawin mo. Alright, meron pa po tayong isa from negosyantitang Christine. Okay, sabi naman niya, paano po pag tumutumal na yung benta? Ano po yung ginagawa ng strategy na inadapt nyo to target both online and offline customers? Nangyayari ba sa'yo yan? Tumutumal ba yung negosyo? Ako naman sir, lahat naman ng businesses, ganun. Uh, diba? So Parang, how do you deal with that? Sabi nga ng daddy ko, hindi araw-araw Pasko. <laughs> Pero ano po, uh, so what you usually do is you try to offer yung timely na products or uh, joining bazaars, di ba? Kasi yung joining bazaars, usually offline customer yan eh. Pero eventually, they will become your online customer. So, uh, mamaya, suki na yan. Kasi lalo na kung na-build na nyo yung, ano, yung, yung rapport physically, ang dami ko pong ganyan. Eventually, maraming repeat orders. In other words, you just have to take action and anticipate bago ka pa makarating doon sa stage na, naku, tumumal na yung negosyo ko. Anong gagawin ko? Yeah. kapag plan ahead ka na, de ba? Thank you so much po, Miss Marielle and Sir Francis sa mga negosyant tips at maraming maraming salamat din sa ating mga negosyantito at negosyantitang mga nagsipagtanong. So, Sir Francis? At maraming salamat din, Sonja. Of course, thank you so much, Marielle. I hope you had a great time as much as I enjoyed this. Yes, definitely, sir. Thank you po. So, Marielle, any final negosyant tip for all of our negosyantitos and negosyantitas who want to achieve tuloy-tuloy na success. Maigsi lang, sir. Just do it. <laughs> and of course, thank you so much to all of our viewers. This episode is brought to you by Globe Business E-Commerce Website Builder by Prosperna, Inventory Management Solution, and Chat Genie. E-commerce website builder by Prosperna allows you to create your own e-commerce store and manage your customers' transactions from ordering, payment, and delivery of the products or goods seamlessly. With inventory management solution, you can reduce manual errors and maximize profits by tracking and viewing updates from inventory, purchasing, accounting, order, and sales management up to delivery of the products or goods to your customers. And with Chat Genie, you can manage all transactions across different channels in one platform, creating a hassle-free buying experience for your customers. Learn more about them and our other products by visiting the website www.globe.com.ph slash business slash SME At para abot mo ang tuloy-tuloy na success Please don't forget to share this episode and subscribe to Globe Business YouTube channel See you again para sa susunod nating heart-to-heart -heart conversation I am Francis Kong at your service